back again at Jeremiah. Let's have a second look at the first chapter of Jeremiah on this morning. Now the commentary of Jeremiah tells us in the Bible that this book is for those who have ever wondered what God wanted or if you felt you might have missed his purpose for you. All for you in good company. Jeremiah was a young man who struggled to know God's plan for his life. Uh -huh. Even after he made his choice, additional pressures made him wonder if he'd done the right thing. All oh, but what Jeremiah discovered can give us insight and perspective when we feel stressed out. Anybody feel stressed out here this morning? Huh? When we feel stressed out about serving God in difficult times. For the beginning of the text says, and in my Bible, the, the title of this text is The Call of Jeremiah. Now see, you may think that the call is only for ministers. Oh no, the call is on all of our lives. God is calling each and every one of us to serve. God is calling each and every one of us to represent him in the kingdom. Yes. God is calling each and every one of us to raise up the bloodstained banner of Christ yes. and to let our light shine so that others may come to Christ on today. But look at what the word says on today. It's a short word today, but it's, it's powerful when you break it down. It begins by saying, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Amen. See, first and foremost, you got to be open to the word. Yeah. You got to be ready to receive the word. You say all the time you get on your knees when it's convenient in your world and your, your time. <laughs> oh, Lord, just send me a sign. Amen. Send me a word. Yeah. Oh, let me know where I'm supposed to go. Uh -huh. Let me know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. It's saying right here in the word of Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Oh, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Don't you know that God has a plan for each and every one of us? Don't you know that before we were even thought about in the twinkling of the eyes of our parents, yes. God already ordained our existence on this earth. God already consecrated our witness to, to each and every one of us. God already said, this is going to be a great child of God. This is going to be a great woman and a great man. Don't you know that God has it all worked out? Huh? We are not here by mistake. We are not here by happenstance. Yes, There's a yes. reason why we are here on earth. 